earlier today, Max Garcia, the COO and co-founder of Be Gold, dropped by the Corporate Profile Studio to tell us about his clothing line, which has become a fast favorite among music artists, including 50 Cent, Alicia Keys, and The Wanted. Now, I always like to hear the story of the man behind the brand. So tell us about your background and the road that led you to what is now Be Gold. Well, um, I went to school for criminology, so initially I wanted to just be a criminal psychologist, kind of just deal with people and behavior, and, you know, that kind of thing. Right after I got my bachelor's, I kind of saw how much <laughs> grad school costs and decided, you know, maybe I need to get a job and, like, think about this a little bit. So I worked at a skate shop, slowly moved up, and ended up managing the skate shop and the skate team. I grew up skating in the, early, in the 80s, 90s. So that got me really involved in the scene. I got to do a lot of traveling, got to see how the skate industry worked. So it just like kind of gave me a hunger to run my own company. So from that moment, I was like, all right, I want to try this. And that was, you know, early 2001 to the 2004. So I started a little stint with a little wheel company. From there, you know, learned, <laughs> went out of business, then moved on and worked at a hedge fund, which I, you know, then managed at the hedge fund for like four years. And from there, I moved on to an architecture and design software company. I've never been one who's so much into fashion and kind of never really followed the trends. I kind of just did my own thing. And that's where I met my business partner, Winston Bartholomew Holder. He's an architect. He graduated from Howard University. And when we worked at the architecture and design software company, him and I shared an office for two years. So that's when I first started being introduced to the couture process. He started you know, showing me how he was cutting some of the sweaters and altering them. So I'd go with him to the garment district and like buy fabric, watch him negotiate. And I was like, you know, you're pretty good at this. Maybe I can help you organize it and make it a brand. And that was around 2010. So that's when Be Gold, you know, was born. And at that time, we were only called Nostalgic Life. We didn't really have an idea of being a brand. We were just trying to make cool, abstract clothing that we like. So that's how I ended up there. Now, Be Gold is a pretty innovative brand. I didn't actually know this until recently, but you were the originators of the baseball hats with the gold pins and spikes that have blown up in recent years. But I've also seen things as crazy as hats with laser pointers. So tell me about some of your proudest pieces. Actually, the, um, some of our proudest pieces are custom pieces we make for celebrities. It's a group called Major Laser who went on tour with Diplo and they do a lot of like electronic, reggae, um, trap house type music. and. The, one of the main artists in that band, Skerritt, wanted something innovative. So we're like, you know, you guys are playing a lot of retro or laser type music, so why not make you a laser sleeve? So that's when our business partner, Winston, went in and started constructing from scratch a sleeve with infrared laser beams that would shoot out of it and could be controlled by the music the DJ was playing. And that's when the laser idea was born around like 2010, 2011. So from there, you know, we kind of always had the idea to work with lasers and do custom pieces. We ended up doing a hand-knit um, hand knitted sweater for Alicia Keys, a cashmere um, wool sweater, which she wore in a Teenage Love Affair video. So we always just had a drive to make custom pieces for celebrities or anyone that no one else would have. So, you know, with the lasers, got a little bit of attention and 50 Cent got back to us and he was on his tour, so we're like, oh, why not make a laser hat, since we started doing the hats with the gold pins, you know, which kind of happened as an accident. We were just hanging out at our showroom. Winston was toying around with some hats, and we came up with the sigil collection, which is the hat I'm wearing now. You know, so it kind of happened by accident. A lot of people jumped to it. Then Chinatown and the counterfeiters got a hold of it, so it got a lot more attention. So, you know, now it's like everywhere, but, you know, we're the originators. Can you tell us the story of the Be Gold girl and guy? You know, what do they do and what are they looking for in their clothes? Essentially, the type of customer your team has in mind when designing and marketing. Yes, we're looking for the eclectic individualist. You know, someone who is hip and with the crowd, but still themselves at the same time. Someone who just kind of, you know, wants something that was made by us or something, you know, a handmade product, more personal, intimate product. We try not to use, and we haven't used till this day, any factories. We don't use any mass production. We do it all by hand ourselves. So our customers is a small niche market of people who want that bespoke look, that custom, you know, personalized fashion. So, you know, it's a small base, but they're out there and, you know, we welcome them. 
tell us about your ongoing art installation. It's described as the crossroad between art and fashion. So what can visitors expect? Um, right now we're running the live installation at 209 um, West 38th Street with the Fashion Center. So we've been collaborating with a lot of local artists around the fashion district, um, designers, to kind of just collaborate with us and provide a live installation. We've been having live photo shoots in the window, a couple of rock bands, some members of the Black Ink team come and hang out there to meet fans. So we just want to provide an experience where it kind of gives them a feeling of be go. We give you that realness, we give you that live action. You could come to our workshop any day of the week and watch us making a product. We want you to go by the window and see something happening, something with fashion, something with art, something with music, because we feel it all goes together and we try to fuse it all together. And that's what the installation, and it'll be running until September 12th. And we'll be doing a lot more with the Fashion Center in that neighborhood as well, just kind of bringing awareness to the community and that we're around. So since the art installation will serve as a sneak peek of the newest Beagle collection, when can we see the collection in its entirety? Um, well, actually, on October 2nd, um, before Brooklyn Fashion Week at the Rocks Gallery in, on Delancey Street, we'll be presenting a couple of pieces at a little you know, art gallery party. But on October 6th, the second to last show of Brooklyn Fashion Week, we will be premiering the whole new 2014 collection. It's going to be a lot of unisex pieces. Can't really talk too much about it because we're trying to keep the counterfeiters at bay. But, you know, it's, it's going to be exciting. We'll have some celebrities, you know, Prodigy, maybe 50 Cent, and a couple of other celebrities walking the floor. So we'll, we'll be having a lot of treats. So October 6th at the Brooklyn Pavilion will be the, you see the whole collection, October 2nd, we'll give you a sneak peek.